These are the tips and tricks I have been doing to take my hair from what it used to look like a couple of months ago to what it looks like now. I have completely transformed my hair with doing these key steps. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey y'all, so I know I look crazy, I know. Bear with me, stay with me, because I'm really about to put y'all on to some SHIT, okay? These are the tips and tricks that I have been doing to take my hair from what it used to look like a year ago. If I have pictures, I will insert clips and whatnot so y'all could see how damaged, dry, and brittle, and just effed up my hair was, right? And now I got all this thick, voluptuous goodness, okay? So, first things first. This is my pre-shampoo routine, feel me? So first off, I like to saturate my hair in oil, okay? This is going to allow me to have manageable, detangleable hair after shampooing. Have you ever like shampooed your hair with a really bad shampoo and your hair just felt super dry and brutal as you were shampooing your hair? Yeah, bro, that's not cute. That's not a good look. And I want to make sure that you never have to experience that again. We are about to get into my version of a hot oil treatment. I'm going to make sure that my hair is nice and detangled before I get started. So this is the grapeseed oil that I'll be using. And everyone has been talking about this Mayel rosemary oil. I love it. So what I'm going to do is saturate the roots first so i'm really gonna get into my scalp here and i'm gonna put a good amount okay one thing about tara she is not afraid of oil i'm gonna go ahead and massage that in if you know you know massaging your scalp just stimulates hair growth it gets the blood flowing it feels amazing it's a form of self-care honey it's everything you need and more okay and then I'm going to go ahead and literally saturate all of my hair in oil. Alright, all of my hair is fully saturated in oil. My hair is nice and detangled and um, nice and sectioned out. I tell, I'm telling y'all, I look crazy right now. But my shampoo process is going to be super duper easy just because I've done this. And my hair is going to love it, okay? So, I want my hair to absorb as much moisture as possible. As possible, so I'm going to put on the shower cap. Boom. Now that my shower cap is on, I'm going to also put this cap on my head. This is going to really make sure that I'm getting a hot oil treatment because I can attach my um, blow dryer to this. So, I basically have four tips for y'all to take away, okay? If you don't make it to the end of my video, please just... First off, you should make it to the end of the video. But I just want to make sure that y'all walk away with these four tips, okay? Number one, keep your hair moisturized at all times. If you ever feel your hair and you touch it and it feels dry, that's a problem. We'll moisturize this. I don't care if you're using a thick hair butter, grease, oil, something that is healthy for your hair. No sulfates and stuff like that. Just make sure you moisturize your hair. Two, keep your ends trimmed. If you allow your hair to stay split, it's just going to continue to split up the shaft and you're never going to retain that length. Clip that dead hair off. Number three, detangle. Detangle and detangle and take your time. Detangle on wet hair, not dry. Okay, I know y'all just want me detangle and dry, but my hair was already detangled. I mean, like, if you know you about to shampoo, or like, you know, you just you taking out a protective style where you know your hair is mad in certain areas, spray with water, put some type of detangler that's why they exist, and then detangle your hair. Okay, and then last but not least, four. Take your collagen, okay? My hair has never been this thick. Like, okay, as a child, my hair was thick as hell. But lately, my hair has not been as thick as it is right now. And I think it's because I'm taking collagen. I put it in my tea every day or I put it um, in my juice. My probiotic juice, girl. And I think that's what has my hair looking thick and my skin is just flourishing. Like, can we get into it? So, now I have my blow dryer right here. I'm going to attach it. So, you literally just slide it on and you secure it with the little 
um, Velcro and then you are safely allowing the heat to penetrate your hair because it's not direct heat. And I like to put it on warm and low setting. And I am going to go sit on my couch like this for about an hour. Y'all want to see it blow up? <laughs> so I just finished washing my hair. If you want to know, I always shampoo and condition with my nail products. Love them. Let's get into the curls though because my hair used to not be curly. Now these one spike here need some work. I still have the conditioner in my hair because we want to keep all that moisture and now I'm going to put in a hot, I was about to say hot oil treatment. Now I'm about to put in a deep conditioner mask. So I'm using the TGIN um, Honey Miracle Mask. Looks like this. I love this stuff right here. And I'm definitely going to hit right here. Like deep conditioning really helps. Oh, and also I just want to show you guys, this is another good product too. This is an overnight mask, okay? Really, really good really really helpful you will wake up and you do that before you shampoo you will literally wake up girl your hair will be so soft so moisturized it smells so stinking good just gonna put this into the cap we're good to go okay so now we are all washed and it is time to style like the curls are curling okay this is no product whatsoever like i said if i want to train my curls i will do a slick back pony now i do things differently when it comes to my slick back ponies now so i used to use the strongest band that i could find some of them had a little metal thing on it Ugh, disgusting um i would leave it in my hair for days at a time without taking it down to relieve that pressure and that, sh that stress that the the actual band causes. Now I use scrunchies like this that are soft to the touch and don't have any band but still give me a lot of stretch and a lot of security. <laughs> um, sometimes I don't use them at all and I'll just use claw clips because these don't cause as much tension, you know? I detangle with a really good detangler. I love this one. I like to have my hair heavily moisturized with a thick hair butter. I'm using this one today from Carol's Daughter, Carol's Daughter instead of using gels. I no longer use gels. Um, if I ever need any more hold, I will use the Coily Custard from Miss Jessie's because this gives you a good hold without actually putting a gel in your hair because if you didn't know gels have a lot of gels have um alcohol in them which like completely dries out your hair we don't want that so yeah those are my tips and now i'm going to go ahead put all this moisture back into my hair because that's the most important thing and then i'm gonna show you guys what the end product looks like so one thing about me i'm gonna name me some baby hairs like y'all see how cute my edges are i know that's the right i'm gonna finish everything off with a little claw clip just to give it a little va -va -vum feeling a little extra height extra umph i hope this video was informative to you guys if you learn anything new make sure you like comment share and subscribe also comment down below what other tutorials you guys want to see from me i definitely need help with ideas so yeah make sure you comment down below and i'll see you in the next one bye mamas